In this presentation, we're going to look at survival analysis and also, in particular, Cox proportional hazard models. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. A pharmaceutical company is interested in testing a new treatment for a debilitating but non-fatal condition in cows. A randomized trial was carried out in which a sample of cows with the condition was assigned to either the new treatment or the previous treatment. So there's two different treatments, okay, the new one and the previous one. The event of interest was the recovery of a cow from the condition, and the following was uh, the following. The results were analysed with a, a Cox regression model. Okay, now I actually have it written out here, uh, basically because the typesetting didn't come out so great. So what we have here is the baseline hazard, H zero of T. Okay, uh, Z is a covariate taking the value one. If the cow is assigned to a new treatment and zero if the cow is assigned to the previous treatment. So this part here will only activate if the cow is taking the new treatment. So if the cow is taking the previous treatment, that will immediately set to zero and it's just excluded from the overall calculation of whatever number will come out from that. So it's a binary indicator variable, a binary variable essentially, just to sort of say yes or no, is it the cow on the new treatment? So the baseline case here is that the cow is assigned to the previous treatment. Okay, so uh, what's the next thing? The X is covariate denoting the time and length and days uh, from which the cow has been suffering from the from the condition when the treatment was started. Now this is actually careful to read this. So it's essentially how long were you waiting to start the treatment before, you know, uh, after you realized the cow was suffering. Okay, so how long has the cow been suffering with this uh, until you started the treatment? So if I find out find out today the cow was suffering and I start the treatment at two days time, obviously it's two days if you get me. And then T is the number of days since the treatment started. Okay, now beta is the parameters. That's just slightly gone out of shot there. Just to rewrite everything here. Okay, but the are we back in shot mostly. Yeah. So the the required at the the estimated values for beta all the betas are beta is zero point eight, zero point four, and minus zero point one. Okay, I'm going to sort of skip through the definitions really and what we're going to do is actually just go down to B and C because just try and keep these videos short. So part B is identify the baseline, the characteristics of the baseline cow and then for a particular cow, a new treatment and the previous treatment have exactly the same hazard for a particular cow. Calculate the number of days for which that cow has the condition before the initiation of the treatment. Okay, so we'll come back to that one shortly. So let's just go down here to what is our baseline cow? Okay, oh, so there's a part D there as well. So part D is under the previous treatment, cows whose treatment began after they had been suffering from the condition for three days, had a medium recovery time of 14 days once treatment had started. Calculate the proportion of these cows that would have been that would have still have had the condition after 14 days if they had the new treatment. Okay, so anyway, so I'm going to sort of skip past that. You can take just a quick pause the screen and have a read of that. That's the just what is a proportional hazard model. So we'll go down to part B here, and the part B is a uh, cow. What's the baseline condition? Okay, and it's a cow who started the previous treatment immediately. Okay. The condition um, appeared. Okay, I find out my cow is suffering. Bang! I stay. I start my treatment immediately. I don't wait around until tomorrow. Get started straight away. Okay, that is what that is. So let's just see how that works in the model up here. Okay, so beta zero z. Okay, and that's just to see if it's on the new treatment. So essentially, whatever makes these zero, okay, whatever makes these disappear, Z zero, that means the cows on the previous treatment, X equals zero, that means that, you know, you start, X equals zero means you start straight away, and XZ also, you know, so, 
that's the baseline condition. So just looking at part C here, I had to just pause the video to fix the type setting. In fact, I had to rewrite it out. But anyway, in a nutshell, there's a t someday X where the hazard for uh, both treatments, the previous treatment and the, new say, and the new treatment is the same. So we just have to find X, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is write out the hazard for both treatments. Now essentially, it's more or less the same, except in one case, Z is equal to one, and in the other case, Z is equal to zero. So in the second case, Z is equal to zero. That's the, the, new, the new treatment and the old treatment. So essentially, it's one is equal to the other, okay? So, essentially what that means is that this part here is equal to zero. Oh, that's how they would be equal to each other. This component here plus this component here is equal to zero, okay? And just recalling, in this instance, Z is equal to one, okay? Now, previously when I introduced the question, we were told that beta zero is zero point eight and beta 2 is minus um, 0 0.1. But when we bring it across the other side of the line, so we'll actually just be clear about that, minus 0 0.1. So we get a plus 1 when we bring this at the opposite side of the line. Okay, just rearranging this part here, okay, with beta 0 equal to 0 0.8. Actually, I'll just be absolutely emphatic about it. So 0 0.8, therefore, is equal to plus 0 0.1 times x, where x is the number of days. So clearly, x is equal to 8 days. Okay, so that's straightforward enough. Actually, let's just read the question properly again. Okay, for a particular cow, some particular cow, the treatment, uh, the new treatment, the previous treatment have the exact same hazard. Calculate the number of days for which this cow has had the condition before the initial treatment, which is eight days, okay? Okay, let's just look at this part here, this part here. H0t times the exponent of beta 1t. This is, describes a cow on the previous treatment. Just a reminder that beta 1 is equal to 0 0.4, and if x is the number of days that you the cow had to wait after it started the treatment. That would be x. So we just multiply it by some number. For the question we're about to use this for, that is 3. Okay, so that would actually be the ex exponent of 0 0.4 times 3, which is 1.2. Now, what we're going to do is calculate the survival function uh, for some time period t, which is a function of this here, okay? So that is the exponent of the negative of the integral of that. We'll see it down shortly, but essentially we're going to integrate that, put a minus sign in front of it, and then get the exponent of that. That will give us our survival function. Actually, there we have it there. Okay. So what I'm going to do here just is take out the uh, exponent or sorry, the integral, and just put that there, there, the this these terms outside the integral, because essentially what we just want is a function of t inside the integral. So essentially what we're looking at here is uh, 14 days. So essentially we have the median time period for a cow who, on the old treatment, the previous treatment, who starts their treatment three days after the detection of their illness, the median recovery period is 14 days that 50 percent of them would be recovered by within 14 days okay so that's our survival function essentially the survival function for 14 days is 0 0.5 okay half the cows should have been recovered by then for cows who start on the old treatment when they have three day they have to wait three days for treatment okay so e so this is the exponent of minus what we've had before i've taken this number out okay Essentially, what I want to do is isolate this, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. So it's the integral up to 14 days, by the way. Okay, so it's a definite integral up to 14 days. Okay. Sorry, do you know what? Let's pause and read the question again. 
So I just hit the pause button and I've unpaused there now. Under the previous treatment, cows whose treatment began after they had been suffering on from the condition for three days, which I described, had a median recovery time of 14 days once treatment started. Okay, so calculate the proportion of these cows which would still have the condition after 14 days if they were given the new treatment. Okay, that's all we're doing. So we mostly have it set up. Okay, but there's a bit of work in this. And essentially what we need to do is actually isolate this. Come up with a value for this. And the reason is we're going we're gonna to need that for when we talk about the new treatment, which we'll be talking about shortly. Okay, so we know this. Well, obviously that's what we're told to look at. And we know this is the median recovery time. So that is, it has to be equal to 0 0.5. So the exponent of minus e to the power of 1.2, that is minus 3.320 times this integral here, this definite integral here. Okay. So if we were to work it out, we would realize that the, this definite integral is equal to 0 0.209. Okay, we know this is equal to 0 0.5, okay? So essentially, if we were to work it out, we know what the definite integral is. It would be 0 0.209, okay? Now, if I was to do the same thing for the new treatment, okay? So everything's the same, except what we have here is this. 0 0.8, which is beta 0, minus 1.2, which is common, okay? For both new treatment and the... Uh, previous treatment minus 0 0.3 that's three days times minus 0 0.1 which is the beta okay so beta 2 is 0 minus 0 0.1 and x that's a multiply there and that's actually x is number of days three days so just that will be our equivalent expression up here since you work that out we get what is this minus 0 0.7 Okay. Anyway, essentially this turns into a bit of calculator work. Okay. And so for the new treatment, the whoops, uh, the survival function is 0 0.319. Okay. So, make what of that what you will. So, we'll leave it there.